Today I spent 100 days in Planet Crafter, taking this once barren planet and terraforming it into something green and full of life. This game taught me that drones would soon become man's best friend. Traversing the lands deep inside the earth, I learned of its secrets and possibly finding a way off this planet. Is that what happened? You'll have to watch to the end of the video. Without further ado, I spent 100 days in Planet Crafter and here's what happened. Not only was this game updated to 1.0, but it also had a wicked introduction. Oh my god, that was intense and a half. <laughs> Hello. With my first few steps on the planet, I was given goals and started having flashbacks to similar games. The laser for mining was simple to use, crafting was made fast, and the game had this charm to it. As I received a new message, I started to realize how long this was actually going to take. If I wasn't going anywhere anytime soon, I needed shelter. A base, if you will. Yo, this is cool. Look at this. Automatic. Oh, yeah. Part of me believed that the day and night cycle didn't exist or I was in the matrix. Just like managing my money in real life, I was awful at keeping my base powered. Every time I build something, I'd eventually run out of power. Whoa, what I? Okay. <laughs> hey, yeah, man, me too. What? What? Hmm. Hmm. What? What? What's happening? <laughs> well, if I could just zoom in a little. Hello down there. Between upgrades for my inventory or more for my little guy, I also needed to drill this planet a lot more, if you know what I mean. My drills were many and so was my power. Question was, for how long? Uh. Oh! What the fudge? What is happening? Oh! Whoa! Really? That can just be a thing? That gonna hit me? No, we're fine. We're good. Okay. Ooh. That one gonna hit me? The biggest problem I started to have was where I was storing all this stuff. You know what always caught me off guard? Oh, I emoted again. Woo! Yeah! Hi, everybody! Hi, how are you doing? You good? Cool. What about this one? Ooh, break it down, Yana. Mmm, break it down. Mmm, okay. Ooh, damn. Damn, okay, he's got <gasps> It's you. I still had no idea when or how I was getting lockers, but building a bigger base, now that was on my to-do list. But this game had me super invested in time and just building more of everything. Ooh, ooh, wait, 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 wait. No. 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 Wait, I need fabric now? Oh, I could have built it. Okay, I could have built chests. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I mean, thank you. Thank you so much for trying to scare me. I appreciate it. That was really sweet of you. Uh, try harder. With day four here, I felt like risking it for the biscuit. I mean, what could go wrong? Yeah, I got I got some beautiful anime girls talking to me when Discord opens. <laughs> also, you heard that? <laughs> oh, it says I can break this down. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I love that idea. Okay, that's nice too. Uh, oh, I can take the T1. The red, wait, what? Rare red ore. Hey, Iridium, let's go, baby. <laughs> you can, oh, sorry, sorry. I'm emoted. Give me a second. Let me stop. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of stuff in this place. This is awesome. I love this thing. I honestly didn't think that searching the spaceship would feel like alien isolation, but oh man, was I alert the whole time. I'm talking butt clenched and all. The new chests I had definitely came in handy because I was finding loot galore and all this junk. This thing had layers to it. Levels on levels and even shiny things. What hell? What are those? You see that? What is it? Uh, I gotta come back. Oh my god, there's so much in here. Oh, I love it. 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 Learning everything I could about the planet crafter was great. But man, did nighttime really give me the goosies. Most of today was just spent collecting resources, finding things of use. I also finally got much closer to that shiny thing. Dun, 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 I got T2! T2, 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 Yes, give me the T2, man. Give me the T2. I like them t 2 Not only was I getting new stuff, but my chests back at base were playing hard to get. That's okay, though, because my heaters were keeping me warm at night. Locker storage. Cool! Look how fast this game's going now, though. It's kind of... It, it feels really good. It was one thing to go back into the mechanical butthole. It was another thing exiting that nasty butthole. But with loads of juicy loot, I tapped that sucker out and made my way back home. These lockers now were looking extra chonky and I had to poop. That was probably too much information, right? The next day I found myself inside this weird graveyard looking place. Was I about to die and wither away into the sands of time? I had no idea. I just knew that I wanted more stuff. I think I can take this. Oh, nice. Yo, okay, sweet. 
With these odd looking pillars into a new area, I was about to enter the aluminum hills. Can I come inside? Ooh, can I? Will you let me inside of the spaceship? <gasps> oh, let me in. <laughs> I don't get oxygen in here. Look at all this stuff. Ooh, I want the alloy. I will come back for the rest of you. I pinky half promise. While making my way back towards base, I had the exact thing that would start giving me more food. I just needed to remember how this thing actually worked. Grow, 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 grow. Do, 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 do. Yeah, 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 yeah. My next little task I gave myself was building a base. Okay, not so little, but you know, I needed something new. The expansion was coming along nicely, and I had stairs coming from either sides of this thing. Life on the planet was great. Between moving all the parts and pieces from one base, my solar panels and builds were all that was left. We got a big dinker, not a little dinker. I also got, ho oh, ho ho ho, holy crap, do you see this? Oh, we gotta try this out. Okay, so how do we wanna, oh my God, look at this. Tier three. Between having more food growers and looking to make a more advanced craftable table, I wanted to do a little more exploration. Looking to explore the wild some more, this new part here was something else. It was looking big and girthy, a mighty fine crash ship to explore. I knew I wasn't going to make it far without my itty bitty legs as well. Ooh, there is other biomes, okay. There's one over there. Ooh, different case, uh, hello. Whoa, golden, golden effigy. Iridium, find your first golden case or seed iridium rods. What the fudge? Anyone call for an ore extractor? All right, let's see. Energy is 12 kilowatts. Oh, this is even. Oh, yo, you can make jetpack. Rocket engine, clouds in the sky, reach clouds. Wait. I reached clouds? What? Oh, maybe because of rocket engine? New blueprint, launch plat- wait, what? Launch platform for what? Can I fly places? My plan now was to focus more drills for my hair formation stage and to also see what else was out there. So much unexplored. <laughs> what do we have here? Another golden crate in my area? All right. What is this? It uh, starts melting at 100nk. Oh, it actually opens up to a new area kind of thing? Interesting. Today I learned that legs wouldn't be needed anymore. Cool. <laughs> I think I just figured something out. I just think I found something out. I found something out. <laughs> we got the speed and then we got the boosters. Look at the boosters go, man. Oh, it even shows the booster. It even shows the booster. Look at the booster. Look at the booster. Booster, booster, yeah, yeah. Booster, booster, yeah, yeah. This also had me traveling around so much easier and finding things soon became the norm. Oh, this place is so cool. Okay. If there was something I didn't use enough of, it was a certain something to find my way back home. The base of Narnia is here. Oh, that's so cool. Ho oh, ho ho. I'm gonna go set up a bacon. A bacon? Yeah, I'm gonna go set a bacon over there, buddy. While it was important to have every resource I could for filling out my chest, something I really needed to work on was my oxygen. Because power was looking really low, I was on the verge of something wicked. T1 nuclear reactor generates energy that powers all machines on- Oh my god, on the planet! Alright, we got super power going. Look at this. My luck was on a roll by this point in, and man oh man was I happy. As my base did feel a bit full, which was awesome, it was time to free up some space. I had just the thing for my food growers. Both sides inside this little build would be lined with the growers themselves, giving me space to grow more food and to store whatever I needed. What seemed to be a labyrinth of sorts, I was so close to getting lost here. Oh, oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. We got new stuff here, inside and out. Sadly, my inventory had other plans and just wouldn't fit anything else. Ah, it is. It grows grass. That's so cool. Oh, I'm going to cover this entire place and make it all green. You are going to... Oh, it's going to be beautiful. While exploring this new area was cool, I was so glad to have stuck around as long as I did. Super alloy was all over the place, and for a moment, I didn't need to craft it. Something this game and myself never saw eye to eye on was how much I ran out of power. Sure, I loved big, tall, and lengthy things, but my power source at the time did not. Right here. Yep, that, <laughs> there goes all the power. Craft your first platform. The one thing I needed, I didn't have. The desert was lacking uranium, and that meant I wasn't sure where to go next. Oh, what? Yo, there's underground bunkers? Oh, excuse me? 
That is so cool. Holy crap. I mean, I kind of want to take all this stuff, but oh man, Lerma Seeds, er. In the meantime, I figured I could start a little more oxygen production. Breathing was, you know, nice sometimes. Hello, this is my, my new area for plants and stuff. How do I, can I put plants in here? Or is this like just a basic? Oh, maybe this is just a preset thing. Okay. Uh, oh my God. There's a whole new thing. What? With my new and improved monitor setup looking fresh as heck, all it took was a little more power to get everything running. By this point in, I was returning to a once blocked area, hoping that things would have melted away by now. Oh, this is the blue crystals. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Then we got sulfur, the blue rare ones. Yes, sir. Somehow the cheese it Lords heard my request. And after that, it was meant to be. Power just went out. The next day, my buns were hot. I was floating around and saw more frozen objects in the distance. Uh, starts melting at five. So things are gonna start melting soon, okay. My eyes were the happiest they could have ever been. My favorite color, yo, magnetar quartz. I don't think I was supposed to find this this quickly into the game. Maybe? I don't know, to be honest. Man, this place is intense. Look at this. Oh, 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 I love it. I love it. I love it. With the game progressing and getting higher levels into my terraformation stages, fitting into those tight little spots really started to open up. The game trusted me and I trusted it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. What is this place? Can I have these crystals? Are these supposed to have? No. Yeah, that looks like it's uh, dangerous. Like maybe I shouldn't be going into there. <laughs> I don't know what I found. I don't know where I am, but I'm trying to find my way back home. For a moment, I thought the only way I'd get back to my base was dying. But somehow, some way, I slowly inched my way back. What is this? I found something new again. I don't, I don't know what I'm looking at, but it's beautiful. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna be honest, I am legit trying to find my way back. I got lost. What is happening? I feel like I'm sitting, oh my God, this is so trippy. With all that I found and amazed me, what I really wanted to do now was fly a rocket. All right, let's see if we go here, get up that. Oh, oh, oh what's happening? Oh, that is a big thing. Do I just hit the big red button? Oh, oh, oh. Whee! Look at it go. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. Whoosh. Give me all the uranium, please. Come on. Here we go. I hope you're ready. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Look at it. Look at how much uranium's here. You just gotta wait until things despawn a bit, but once we get it going, oh my god. This is where the next stage of the game started taking over. I was kind of scared for my base, but also scared for me. I didn't know this game is, um, is something. And because there's no, like, real hostile creatures in the game that will come out and kill you at nighttime or daytime, you kind of have to fight the environment. And what I mean by that is this. Yeah, see how the water is starting to creep in there now? That's crazy. Apparently, as my in-game progression got higher, lakes were about to run wild, and this base here would start to go underwater. I needed to find a new place to build and to take everything from that area and drag it to the next. Luckily for editing and cutting stuff down, <laughs> this is what it started to look like. I really thought I'd have more time too. This is getting scary, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a few days, I, th I think, and I've gotten almost everything I can. Now it's just like for the main base, but you see how much it's actually filling up now? I'm afraid that it's gonna keep filling until this next base I'm building. Hopefully it doesn't. I really hope it doesn't, man. The waters were definitely rising and my base wasn't looking so hot. All in all, I managed to get the important stuff out, leaving what was left of my base behind. All right, well, I think my uh, base sinking Narnia has sunken which is fine. I think that's, hopefully the, that's the max it's going to. I really pray that's the max. Because if it keeps going, oh my gosh. Current stage, liquid water, next stage. Oh crap, it shows right there. We're going to, we're going, what? So liquid water and next it's going to lakes? 
Oh, please don't tell me it's going to fill this up. With a new day here, I I don't even know what happened, man. I was zoned out completely. Oh, I, that was a blind pick. Oh, I caught that at the last second. I didn't realize I, I forgot about my hydration there. Oh, my God. <laughs> my food, water, and all of the above was awesome. I was also receiving messages from an unknown source. Central Corp, you're not allowed to leave the planet until terraformation is complete. Oh, these are the messages we found, and these are the ones we just got from other people. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize the cell service was really good here. Still into the early game, I had no reason not to set up more ore extractors in different areas. Having built some in the aluminum hills, a few inside the iridium caves, and getting ready for something massive here. It was clear as day that the next stage was already on its way. What I needed now was super alloy and drills to be made. I also needed more ore extractors for that extra mm. This next part was for science. And you know, I was curious. While taking my explorations elsewhere, I wanted to see what this dirty butthole had. It'd be so cool if there was like a creature or something you I mean, maybe in the future they'll eventually do more with it. All right, it looks like I was able to go through that. Cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. where am I? Whoa, this is like some lava thing. Oh my God, what? Okay, I have to be careful because I only have one more oxygen thing left. Pressure multiplier fuse, insert fuse into an optimizer to boost the performance. Holy crap, okay. Sweet. Unlocking new blueprints to the next day, I was now ready to build the one. <laughs> but look at that, it's like a spider one. This thing is gonna be killer. That does 459 pressure a second. And then it does 25 heat. The other ones is 0.25 heat and 17. What these beautiful, wonderful, and magical extractors did for me was farm everything I didn't have to. They cut out the middleman and allowed me to just craft as much super alloy as I wanted to. Not only was space needed, but I needed more storage and more room to set up bigger power sources. When going for a second rocket, yeah, I didn't have much luck here. Are you guys ready? I can't hear you. This this game, if you saw the first stream of this game too, it's crazy how far the actual game has progressed in itself. There never used to be any green and grass is growing, which is kind of silly. Like, how am I getting excited from grass? I think I need to go touch grass sometime soon. Are those flying down to me? <gasps> let me in, let me in, let me in. Get out of my way. Oh my God, really? Okay, we're fine. Surely they'll add a crouch button into the game. Thinking to myself, if I forgot anything important here, I wasn't quite sure. I may have also needed algae for some crafting purposes, but I couldn't figure these things out for the life of me. For the iridium caves to basic resources, I had another rocket in my pocket. Bam. Do you want to hit the big red button? Who wants to do it? Say me. Me right now. Whatever. Whatever. I actually have no idea what this is going to do. I wonder if it gives me a map or like, how does this work? Alrighty, uh, I do have this. Oh, it did create a map, holy crap. While crafting up a few more grass spreaders, the next stage of the game really started to pick up. Green luscious grass was here and here to stay. Finding yet another juicy crash site was great, but so was this hidden tunnel. One that gave me exactly what I needed, more osmium and sulfur for days to come. The next little project of mine was fixing up my power sources, replacing a bunch of older models for something new and giving my base what it needed. New blueprints, it, oh, a T3 jetpack. This was the best thing to have happened. So many resources I could take back with me before the day was up. If there was one thing you should build in the game, it was definitely the ore extractors. Besides the placement, this beauty was exactly what I needed. <gasps> this is how you- I gotta stand up! Oh, I could have been building this already. My back is so sweaty. I still had no idea how to get algae, and it seemed like all the other stuff was definitely going to take some brain power. You know what? No. I needed to figure out my algae situation. Seeing that this new biolab was hard to get to every time I wanted to craft something, I needed a new location for it. It's also that time in the video, and if you made it this far, comment space down below. The coolest thing in the game wasn't how I organized my chests or even made room in my base. It wasn't even the amount of power sources I built or a super secret hidden cave I found days ago. It was my new T2 biodomes that would eventually start giving me bark producing five times the amount of oxygen and being these awesome little wildlife snow globes. 
With a new day here, I started to slowly replace my T1 LG generators. The entire base and all came along so nicely, and it was it was just beautiful. It was gorgeous and all of the above. My plan now is to gather as many resources as I could, building multiple launch pads for maximum effort. Uranium was all that was on my mind. It is time to start spawning these bad boys. The reason why I did this and spread them apart, because every time I summon one and then try to do the next, it always gets glitched or bugged out because it of course hits this landing spot so they can't shoot off oh lift off houston we have lift off go 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 oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god go 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 i don't know if this is gonna work like if it stacks if it doesn't, well, that sucks. If it does, well, that's awesome. I have no idea. Maybe it just keeps going for the entirety of this time. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And we're gonna just gonna stand up here. Here we go, guys. I hope you're ready. <laughs> we just sent all of our rockets. And here they come. From every rocket that launched into the sky and rewards with all the green rocks it had, the amount of uranium rods I started to collect was unreal. If you played this game, then you knew how long it took to make just a few, let alone having over 30 of them. Next, I started working on my lower tier power source, the more tier 2s or even the taller solar panels. The only thing that really bothered me later in the game was the loud humming. These things made my ears bleed red Kool-Aid. While my exploration took me to new lands, something truly surprised me in such an unexpected way. Oh, I made it, 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 I made it. So this is what we were looking at. What was happening? Uh... Should I be worried? Oh? Why is there so many? Is this normal? Oh my god. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my right up gal. Oh my god, why am I uh, dealing with this? What is it, by the way? I want to see what it is. Ooh, it's like mystical stuff, right? No? Wrong? Are you really cool? Oh, I'm, I'm dying. I'm legit dying. What the fudge? Okay, so maybe the ones with like 100 meteorites only show up every so often. You know? If there was something I did way too late in the game, it was building myself free oxygen. The idea of building myself a little home while traveling helped so much. Up ahead, I found some abandoned outposts, filling my inventory as much as I could and then getting the heck out of here. This far into Planet Crafter and I was truly amazed with how much content kept coming at each stage of the game. With more space locations still to be explored, I wanted to find the secrets hidden deep below. About to build more friends here, my face couldn't be any happier by this point in. Oh, this is where we get the methane cartridges. Oh my God. So it's like the, it's like the water, but you get the methane ones instead. The idea now was to build everything I had available to me because I planned on playing 100% of this game. You heard me right. I'm going to do 100% of this game through my playthrough. It's going to be great. I also realized how much better these T4 drills really were. So it was time to add a little spice to things. Now this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, yo, look at that. It went from flora. Now we're going to trees. Oh, <laughs> I wonder if we'll, we're, we will ever get to animals. Man, I, I'm so excited. I can't even talk. Something I also managed to mess up were my biodomes. For the bark to actually spawn, they needed to have space. And I was like a kid in a candy store, touching everything, putting stuff where it didn't belong and licking things from head to toe. Just like everyone else, this was my favorite and probably one of my best locations just to be in or look at. It had this peaceful aura that had me enjoying everything and made me feel very excitable. Flying around the place was especially handy too. Whoa. Oh, discover the mushroom river? Excuse me? Discover the what the fudge is this? Well, it's obviously the mushroom river. Holy crap. Crap. I didn't want I don't want to be here just yet. I'm still playing the game upstairs. Give me a second downstairs. I'll, I'll get back to you in a second. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. That was, this was an accident. I just I was gonna fly down. I don't know. The monitors I had for each indicator was definitely proof of my progress. Today though, this is when my smile was big, butt was clenched, and shiz was about to get real. Because I was about to explore the mushroom river for the first time. Whoa! No, no, no. Read message. 
This underground cave is a blessing for us wardens. It has a lot of resources and is underground, allowing us to stay hidden from outer space. This planet has been chosen really carefully and now I understand why. I can't wait to start building a settlement and fulfilling our destiny. And the year is question mark, question mark, question mark. What? It's an altar. What do I put there? Looks like we gotta keep building. We'll get to that eventually, I guess. With that exact key in hand, I figured a little detour couldn't hurt. It was close enough and I still had the oxygen. <gasps> oh, obsidian. Oh my God. Yes, 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 yes. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just what the doctor ordered. Am I gonna beat this game soon? Holy crap. Yeah, we are getting tons of obsidian. Everything up until this point was a sight to behold. Key number one. Ooh, I love secrets. Now you've got my attention game. And it only took you... How many hours have I played so far? I don't even know. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. This is my time. It's not caving in, is it? Don't get me wrong, I was still going to explore the ruins, but with this new blueprint unlocked and ready to be rocked, I couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> this is what everyone was looking forward to. Mystery, secrets, and lore about what really was going on in this game. What do we got? What do we got inside? This is so cool. See, if they have more of this stuff, man, oh my gosh. I would absolutely adore that. Okay, read message. After all those years, all that suffering, we decided to leave our home soil. To go as far away as possible and build a new home. Far from the terror, far from the strife, far from them. Oh, okay. Open Warden's Altar, 964-68-1744. Oh, is this their spaceship? <gasps> this is so cool. Hello? Can I come aboard? Oh my god. And you can't fly in here? Nothing? Well, they did say there was like an ending. So I don't know if I want to like finish the game this quickly. Because I still got a lot to accomplish and beat and all that. Having spent tens of hours already grinding and waiting out certain builds I wanted or rather needed now. It was worth all the wait for this. T2 extractor. Yeah. <laughs> Osmium. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. With a whole new list of goals and stuff to build, I was curious to see what else I unlocked. Better late than never is what I say. Into the era of insects and organisms growing, I figured it was the perfect time to start spreading flowers around. My base was magnificent, but it was definitely missing some color. The next upgrade for this thing is coming so soon. It's gonna go from Florida trees and then trees to something else. Having a thought to myself, you know what would be great? As if I was able to find a specific resource I both needed or wanted, all I really found was panic and nowhere to plant this T2 ore extractor down. Ending up in different locations, I had to just say good riddance while amongst the lava. Onto a new day here, either my loading distance not rendering in fast enough or I was just blind as a bat. You won't believe what started growing here. These were never here before. Oh my god, this planet is being filled from top to bottom. I found even more trees the next day. Whoa! This stuff just spawned in. I guess it's been growing ever since. Oh my god. Look at that. From nothing to luscious green plants and trees and vines. Actually, though. Yeah. Yo, even this place. This is the place like I had to jump and everything, but now there's vines that attach it all and connect. Now, at the time, while trying to build the coolest thing ever, I didn't know exactly how to craft said blueprint on the screen. Oh you gotta click this and it gives you the recipe oh okay okay the best thing to end my day here was a meme um okay now i can't even get out really <laughs> with all the iridium i gathered and used to turn into rods i was 50 licks away from a tootsie pop what did it mean i had no idea i just knew that i had a lot of rods noticing all the different beacons out in the distance it seemed the game still wasn't done showing me new stuff it was almost surreal seeing from once I came, having built a base in this starting ravine with now a beautiful lake and just trees surrounding the place all around. Something I didn't show you yet, but what I spent way too much time on was building a place for my autocrafter. The potential for this new setup I had for Super Alloy and so much more unlocked an even bigger smile on my face. It also turns out that the last extractor I built gave me exactly what I needed. Sulfur, baby. I got sulfur cooking. 
So having built this new DNA manipulator, I wasn't entirely sure what it was asking of me or the types of things that it needed, but the building parts were easy to craft. Replacing a few of my algae generators the next day, I had not one meteor strikes happen, but two. While arranging and thinking of what to do next with my heat source, the plants I filled into the growers started doing something unexpected. Having new colors fill the skies and the air feeling lighter than before, I didn't know it at the time, but something amazing was about to happen. All that was left to do was dance around more purple meteorites and send another rocket into space. With seeds and plant life starting to spread around the entirety of the planet, all I had left to do was build myself a deconstruction ship. Turns out I could have done this so much earlier on, but I needed more motherboards. My biggest achievement yet, and I still had so much to do in the game. Build a space trading rocket. You got it. You can automate the process with drones and multiple trading rockets. Send the rocket again, and it will return with the selected items. Moments later, I was able to take the resources I had and spawn in a few more uranium rockets, spreading the wealth around and looking to gain as many rods as I could. Something I realized a little late was sending up the rockets when I did. Apparently, I had to put in actual stuff into the trade space so they could return with actual currency. So now I was looking back into the monitors to see what I actually needed. The plan is now, it's, you know, it's simple. We're going to make some cookies, but to get cookies, we need seeds and to get seeds, I need more money. Looking to load all of my rockets up for some more space trading, that meant I would need more algae and water. I had this little thing going for both resources to be crafted up into what I needed. Next, I was on an expedition, looking to find as many seeds as I could. And no, not my own seed, but things I could replant again. Lucky for me, a lot of these bigger crash sites had exactly what daddy needed. What daddy didn't expect to see was how much greenery was actually filling in a lot of the spaces. Wait, why am I referring to myself as daddy so much? How things have changed over here. Every area I've been to, I'll go back and I'm like, what? Like legitimately feel that way too. For my last trick and being on top of the world, I didn't know it at the time, but I really should have picked up some of these worms. The biggest help to my game became the T3 or extractors and a lot of teleporters. Not in that order, but you got the gist of it. Two and a three. Now, if we go up here, I think we go. Yeah. Oh, so we have the sulfur over here too, but I'm going to make these all this one. What a perfect day to test out the teleporter. Or better yet, instant transmission. We'll do it in the middle for whatever reason. At least two portals are required. Oz, Oz. We're going to call this Oz. I know exactly what that is. Ta-da, I'm back, baby. Oh my God, that's so cool. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Holy crap. As my rockets were flying back in from orbit, I finally received my purchased items. Not only that, but I noticed the sky turning a different color again. Seeing this big meteor coming right at me, I figured, why not? Maybe taking it to the face could be fun, and let me tell ya, it sorta was. Now with a new teleporter to set me on a new path, I was headed towards the lava zone. I broke down my drill and set up a new one, making sure to give myself a way back. Even my Iridium location finally had its own teleporter. Next was my little dump of a place that mined most of the basic resources. Having gathered up a few more resources in my pocket, the next destination was right in front of me. Space. The final frontier. My curiosity got the better of me and had me sniffing around the desert some more. I was on the hunt for some alloy caves. I don't know if I... Oh, wait. Oh. Is this... Oh! Yo, this might, hold on, is this the super alloy thing? No way, this is so close. Open Warden's Altar. Oh, I have a key for this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. great place to put this too. Oh my God. Yo, we just, holy crap. Put that there. Put a portal, like, is it facing me? Nope, super alloy. The other one's just regular alloy to summon or to pick. Yeah. E super alloy, baby. Oh, that's going to be so good because once we get more of this, we can just keep building this stuff. The next day, I spent going between most of my teleporters. Gathering the resources I was finally able to, the progress now felt like it couldn't have come faster. A super important resource I still needed was uranium. This far into the game, I was able to just build endless amounts of rockets, but I wanted a more reliable source or something more constant. Oh, oh, oh. oh I finally found it. The uranium cave. Oh my God, this is it. This is beautiful, man. Look at this. Something in uranium. Uranium. I'll take that. Ooh, T2 fertilizer. Holy crap. That's actually amazing. Look at this. I didn't even know there was a key for this thing. Awesome. 
I have exactly what I needed, though. <laughs> I got the drill of a lifetime, and we're going to get specifically uranium. Seeing that my current stage of the game was going from breathable oxygen to fish galore, I was starting to feel at home. Oh, yeah, right here. Holy crap. So we need to work on terraformation, getting that from 50,000 or 50 million or whatever it is to 175. Holy crap. It's kind of funny to see how close I really was, but the white zeal crystals I needed was a place I'd visit a few times before. This far into the game, I really started to feel the sense of less power. With one or two builds, my power would go out each time. Sure, uranium power sources was a thing, but what I truly needed was pulsar quartz. These were few and far behind as no location gave the ability to just mine them. The best I could hope for was another Skyrock to just drop. My base and everything I had was great. It was also fun to look at and showed real progress, but man, my ears, I swear, they still couldn't hear or handle the buzzing sound. I wanted, no, nay, I needed a new base. The first thing I was hopeful about, building up and crossing my fingers that the ladders here would work how I wanted them to. Sadly, they just didn't do what they were supposed to. You could build one ladder, but you couldn't build two where they stacked on top of each other. Saving you the painstaking time it took me to get to even just this much, I had to show you something funny. I <laughs> I died almost. I died. Oh, there were so many times I almost died here. You see this? Look at this. Isn't this crazy? Look at everything. I didn't even notice the unevenness, whatever. Let's just say you wanted to build one of these, right? Watch this. <laughs> Look at that. Apparently, when you try to build it, it's already open. So I, I, man, the amount of times I was so close to dying because I was trying to figure out what was going on, man, I don't even know, but, oh, freaking scary, let me tell you. Now, I have built out a little bit more because, obviously, there was some time in between there, but I gotta show you my base. This is my base tour of Planet Crafter in 2024. I don't know. This is what I've got so far though. So we changed all of these food growers to the level two, tier twos, grow even faster now. Same for this, got a bunch of these different seeds I found to fill those up, awesome. My little aquarium, that, that, that. The biggest thing is this, where I got drones coming in and out the wazoo, which is kind of sick, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually super dope. When you get to this point in the game, use drones. It is just a lifesaver, they teleport in and out and just give stuff to you. I also got rid of my other base in place of all these platforms. Platforms here because I can place my power sources and heat sources, all of the above, on this thing. Not fun. <laughs> this is not fun. And then we have these ones. These ones are so expensive, but holy smokes, are they amazing. They just give you so much power. Look at that. Thousand, oh, 1,500 energy, okay? 1,500. The uranium ones, those are like top tier uranium. But I think they only give you like 300. But if we go to the base, top, buddy, top, top, top. This is the base. I haven't really shown you, shown you. I moved a lot of stuff. I moved the auto crafter downstairs just because now I'm using that as my like go-to area. I can just get all the drones, to take stuff and bring it to me. I've got my chocolate, flour, wheat, cocoa, my little cooking area. Let me show you this too. These things are so hard to craft, not gonna lie, but they're so much fun when you're able to, I guess. Chocolate, flour, croissant, cookie. This is the cookie I wanted, okay? I wanted a dang cookie. There's birthday cake, first birthday cake. There's some honey cooked beans, which kind of sounds good. Fish soup, maybe. Little biodomes built into my base because I figured why not. The focus was still on making as many space tokens as I could. So sending away stuff that sold for eight to 10 tokens wasn't so much fun. Lastly, I made sure to give my sulfur location a T3 extractor. This seemed crazy to me, but the next day I noticed the tree spreader being unlocked. I'm not sure what I did, but I already had the T3 tree spreader. It felt like things started to unlock in reverse, be it something I broke or something I just did. I don't know. The rest of the day, I did focus on making as much bacteria as I could. Having my space trader rockets full and ready to be sent back into space, I found myself having too many meteor events happening. My plan was to simply explore high and low, looking for any place that might have missed some more quartz. Getting back to this part now, it was funny to see how close I actually was and then somehow ended up missing it completely. Truth be told, if you gave me a big hole with waterfalls raining down and a super secret hideaway with a staircase, I'm sold. I'm not sure what I found or how I found it, but there's a staircase to something new, something different. I don't know what this is. 
Oh, discover the C note biome? Wait, the C note biome? I should have put a brought a teleporter or something. I don't even know how I got here. I was looking for pulsar quartz. Open golden crate? Wait, what? The warden key detector. Use this in the blueprint screen to unlock? What did I just find? <laughs> Oh, we want to survive. Waiting for certain death is not selflessness. It is suicide. It is self-destructed. It, it is. Part of me didn't want to find this so soon, but here I was exploring new parts of the game. Legit. <laughs> Double backing to the spot I was at before, I wanted to check the waterfall in the distance. Surely something juicy would be up there. This led me to finding another crash site, but one that was hidden under sand. By far one of the coolest places yet, and with the amount of levels to this place. Thankfully, with a couple more attempts around both waterfalls, I eventually found what I was looking for, the Pulsar Quartz. As much as I did need a lot more of these things, they were just so darn expensive in builds. Also hard to find. On day 92, I found myself near the Death Desert, but I should have explored so much sooner because of the lakes changing the world. Things that were once on land were now underwater. Everything was submerged, and this definitely made things harder, but not impossible. I was counting up all the quartz I had and used the majority for more generators. With a new morning here, I worked on my little insect aquarium some more, looking to take the uncommon larvae and turn them into the bees they were. Yes, that's actually how they worked. You just took some larvae, turned them into bees, bam, bingo, bongo, boomo. You had beehives. My last and most important goal of mine was building more drones. AI was taking over the world, so I figured why not steer myself in that direction. Building the drone station was easy enough, but I had no idea how this worked. I dropped drones from my inventory thinking they would just do their thing. Problem was, I didn't give them any tasks or stuff to do with. As I was cheering on my new drones, I made sure to set up my uranium for the taking, building myself a few storages and seeing if this truly worked or not. Apparently something was working, so in the meantime I went around to different crash sites and gathered up any leftover motherboards. With everything going as planned, I could not believe my eyes. Or 10 million fireflies? All I could do now was wait and let the terraformation numbers climb. I was so close to new materials. My last and only task now was to make as many drones as I could, pooping out so many more for my autocrafter. I had to go around making sure my iridium had more T3 extractors as the drones brought more back in. I also took another lovely meteorite to the face. That was fun. Something my drones started doing too was slacking off because I just didn't have enough storage for them so they didn't know what to do. With the last few drones sent out to pick up and deliver, I realized this was my last day or day 100 in Planet Crafter. Woo! We finally made it! Yeah, guys! Grass is in my way. Thank you, thank you. But man, I don't even know like what to say, but I do and don't. I'm just really tired. I've been recording this. It's super late. <laughs> But all I can say, as always, is just thank you guys so much. Seriously, I really and truly appreciate every single one of your support. It just, it means the absolute world. This, the fact that you still continue to support the stuff I do, the content that I do, I just can't thank you enough for it. I love your faces so much. You guys are a blessing to me. You have changed my life forever. And I just, I love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate everything you've done for me and still do for me to this day. I will see you in my next video. This is Rayo Panda signing out and making it to 100. Woo!